Humanity faces its greatest trials, its greatest dangers in a declining and depleted world. It faces now its greatest opportunity to finally cooperate beyond all the divisions of history, culture, religion, and politics. It has this one great chance to unite to restore the world and to assure humanity a safer future than its past. But I tell you, it cannot do this without the power of God and the revelation that God has sent into the world now to prepare humanity for the great change that is coming. A great change in the environment of the world, in the economic realities of the world. A great change in the relations between nations a great change that can undermine and disintegrate human civilization. Or a great change that can unite a diffracted humanity. United now for its preservation. United now because everyone in the world faces the same challenge. God has spoken again. For humanity will need this new revelation to understand its predicament, to understand the great challenge it faces, and to understand the remedy for all that it faces, a remedy that has not foreseen and does not yet understand. As rival groups clash, as religions clash, as nations vie for what remains of the wealth of the world, God has given a great blessing, a great warning, and a great preparation. It is now time to see the precipice. It is now time to see the blessing. It is now time to come in humility, openness, and honesty to explore the great revelation that can save the world. For none of God's previous revelations can now achieve this. For they have fallen into contention with one another and are divided and diffracted themselves. God now gives the blessing that will unite them all. God now gives the directive that will focus humanity's priorities and preparation for a future that will be unlike the past in so many ways. The blessing is now upon us. But who has the eyes to see and the ears to hear? Who has the humility to come to this revelation, recognizing the great need for it? Who can set aside their grievances, their hatred, their distrust, to recognize that something of the greatest value is now in the world, given from the source of all life, given not to one tribe or group alone, but to all the peoples, nations, and religions of the world. Given now with the power of heaven and the power of a greater love that defies understanding, but which can be received this moment and each day to come to the restoration of each person, the restoration of humanity's faith, power, and true integrity. 
Only heaven can achieve such a thing. It is now heaven's gift that humanity needs above all things. I pray that this may be the true recognition. I pray that enough people can respond in faithfulness and honesty and humility. I pray that the great promise for the world can be recognized and received and that its wisdom and power may infuse the minds and hearts of enough people to prevent humanity from going into a state of endless war and disintegration. I pray that the love and grace of God, which is contained in this revelation now, untainted by the world, uncorrupted by humanity, unaltered by human commentary, can now be available to as many people as possible. I will do my utmost to make this possible in the remaining years of my life, no matter what my fate on earth may be. For I have come to bear this burden and to give this gift. I have come at the precipice, the great turning point for humanity.